in the trees behind me, there's, uh, there's a pigeon or two 90 yards away now, which is obviously not air rifle ranges, um, but there's some sheds in between me and the pigeon. And if you're wondering why I'm out of breath, it's not because I'm an old smoke, it's just because I've ran from the gate because I left my bean bag up there. Anyway, yeah, let's see if we can get him. So I'm somewhere near now, just got to manoeuvre myself around this uh, bit of a barn and then I'll sit up in a nice comfy sitting position and hopefully get the pigeon. Got another long ranger here. Can't quite get a shot through the branches. There's a better one. Got him. Yeah, got him. Hey, yeah, 63 yards. Well, that was a really far shot. That was 63 yards for a springer. That's really far. Um, I was grouping at that range yesterday, so I know my calibration. Um, very similar calibration to my S400. And that pigeon got hit really hard and watched him through the scope and saw him go down, just fell to the left. Whether I'll be able to retrieve him or not is another question because there's a lot of un undergrowth and nettles around that area. But fingers crossed. Let's go and see if we can retrieve him. Yeah, so that's where it was. Black one there, black one there. 63 yards. <sighs> just sat on there it was. Absolutely awesome. So I was down there when I shot the pigeon out of here. The extreme long range run, and there it is. Just dead there. Let's have a look at the shot placement. So there we have it. 63 yards. A little woody. Uh, I think I gave it 4 mil that's hold over. I don't remember 100%. But, um, well, yeah, the proof's in the pudding. So I've spotted a rabbit just down there. It's a little bit out of range at the minute, so um, it's about 70 yards. So I'm just going to stalk in a little bit closer, get in with about 55, 60 yards, um, and see if we can whack him. Looks, looks to be only a little one, but um, makes the difference when there's cattle in the field, because I'm just going to grow up and do the same amount of damage. Maybe that cow will help us cover. <laughs> Got a rabbit here. And this one's at about 55 yards, I think it was on the laser. It's only a little one. But has to go because of the livestock in the field, unfortunately. I'm just going to give it another, another pop on the laser just to be 100%. Got him. He's 
Just kick him in the ass there. Fifty five yards. Perfect. You can see from that shot. Um, the blood coming out of the ears is obviously a definite sign of a headshot and uh, there's a, a nice entry wound there. Now that was at 50, what did I say it was? 55 yards I think I said. Um, and this, this rifle has been newly tuned. Um, it's been tuned by Dave Price this time and I've, I know I've said that it's been tuned before um, and I've put various different kits in but to be honest, this blows everything else out of the water. Every 97 I've ever shot, it has not come close to this. Yesterday I was shooting spinners, uh, five pence piece size spinners at 50 yards and every single time it was knocking that spinner over. Um, did a three shot group at 27 yards, literally one hole. So I'm really looking forward to doing some target shooting on camera with this. Um, so what's Dave's, Dave's done? Um, I don't really know exactly what he's done, but something I think he lightened the piston, um, just polished everything, put one of his own springs in, put one of his own spring guides in, polished all of those, and it's just shooting phenomenally. Uh, what I'll do now, just while we're here, is if I cock, a, cock the rifle, this just seems to be the standard test, what we're seeing at the minute. If I, if I just put a pellet on there, didn't come off. That's just one of the tests that they do to, to have a look at spring rifles. Um, but yeah, as you saw with that, I mean a headshot at 50, 55 yards is just what you just what you need. And that jumping around at the end, that was just nerves. So uh, we'll move on, see if there's anything else. I didn't get this one on film. A rabbit just ran out there. See him twitching a bit there. Um, but I didn't, just didn't have a chance to, to get it on film. Probably about 25 yards, maybe a little bit longer. But I'm pleased with that. It's a good shot. So this rabbit, um, hit him in the in the neck, so it's gone through his neck into his spine, and that's just why he rolled over so quickly. So just the smallest twitch. So again, a really humane shot, which is always what we're aiming for. Um, and the 97 performed beautifully again. So uh, yeah, I think it'll be. I think it's time to head back now, and we'll uh, we'll pick the rabbit up that I shot earlier. Well, a couple of rabbits isn't a bad effort. Only been out here about an hour, um, but for a first real time out with the with the 97 actually hunting, it's not bad. I had a similar result yesterday, but it just happened that I brought the camera along today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's only been a bit of a short one today, just to give you a bit of a taste of this rifle and and what's to come from this rifle. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers.